All right, what's going on, guys? Hey, we're gonna head over to Forever Games. We got about 80 bucks in trade credits, so we're gonna see if they have anything that we just can't live without. But, uh, you know, recently the Star Wars universe, we lost uh, Peter Mayhew, famously played uh, Chewbacca. And, uh, you know, one of the things that Peter was always proud of was that uh, Chewbacca got the last line in the original Star Wars movie. So uh, I'll pop that in right here. Most of you guys know I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. I love Star Wars. And, uh, you know, as we get older, we start losing these people that, that play these characters that we just love and adore. And, um, you know, it's it's sad. But uh, all, all things come to an end, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I really, really didn't have a plan to end this. But, um, yeah, Chewbacca was just one of those characters... You know, he was a main character. He wasn't a side character or a secondary character or anything like that. He, he was important to the Star Wars universe, so uh, he'll definitely, uh, Peter will definitely be missed. What is going on guys welcome to this episode of the pickups maybe we got some really good stuff this week we got some good stuff we got some rare stuff so i am excited to show it to you but uh let's just get started here needed a new uh ps4 headset uh gamestop had these level threes for 30 bucks i actually had a 15 dollar off coupon so we got a new headset for uh, 15 dollars. these are the same set that my son uses they're not bad but uh you know the 30 dollar headsets Saw these on Facebook. Now, um, I got these from a guy's name is Jared. I'll leave a link to his Facebook page down below. Um, he used to he used to do the the Ohio Games Anime and Toy Show. He used to like run it. If you remember, a couple years ago, I actually went to that show. It was actually pretty good. Uh, we talked about that. We're like, hey, you know, you gonna start that again? He's like, ah, I don't know. But uh, he had a bunch of DS games for sale, and he wanted ten bucks a piece. There was some pretty good stuff in there. Some common stuff, you know. But uh, I picked out two games. He's like, hey man, for you, I'll do it for 15 bucks. Sweet. So for 15 bucks, so 750 each, we picked up Locke's Quest. That is complete. Um, when, when I saw this game, I was like, man, I, I remember seeing a review on that and it was similar to like a Zelda game. So I was like, man, I'll, just, I'll pick it up. So I don't know if we're gonna have time to play that in the near future. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, or concerns about this game, let me know in the comment section down below. Very excited to get this game. It is Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. Now, I actually really, really enjoy the Mario sports games. I think they're kind of unique. They're fun to kind of pick up and play, you know, with the kids and stuff. You don't have to have an intimate knowledge of the sport. But uh, Mario Hoops never came out on the GameCube, which is where a lot of the sports games came out on. I know you can get it in, in NBA Street Volume 3, you know, you can play with Mario characters, but this is a whole dedicated game just for the Mario characters. So I had to pick this up. I'm very excited to give it a try. Like I said, I do like the uh, the Mario sports you know, games. As we sort of progress through the, the last part of the uh, PlayStation 4 era, um, you know, a lot of these games are starting to get valuable. And I've, I've got a couple that are, are pretty valuable, you know, Gravity Rush, stuff like that, some limited run games. And that was one of the really cool things about the PS4, you know, as it's going out and the PS5 is coming in, is that, you know, the PS4, I, I love it because, you know, it's region free. You've got all these like limited runs, strictly limited, all these other uh, sort of outside game companies making games in limited quantities, but it's gonna lend itself to a lot of very rare, very expensive games down the road. So I'm into protecting my games. So I got on eBay and from Buzz and Bingo's Moon Circus, we picked up some PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. I guess you could use them on the Xbox uh, One, but uh, protective casing. So we'll get those valuable games in those cases. And at the end of the video, we're gonna do a two popsicle test on these to see if they will hold up to the awesome power of popsicles. Sure. 
And monkeys might fly out of my butt. All right, so the next package comes to us from Marty. I'm not gonna say your last name, but he lives in Washington. I'm not saying state or DC or Washington, Utah. Or I'm just saying Washington Marty. You know who you are, <laughs> and I appreciate it. Uh, he sent me a uh, some stuff on Facebook. He's like, hey, I got these games. You know, I want to sell them. And I looked through them. I'm like, eh, I don't really need any of those. But I saw one game that was loose disc, and I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll take that. You know. Uh, so we agreed on a price. He wanted 18 bucks just for a loose disc game. And then we had to have a little conversation about shipping. <laughs> uh, he went to the post office and bought an envelope. So this is like a, like a $3 envelope at the post office instead of going to uh, like the dollar store or something, you know. And then it was like four bucks to ship. So I ended up comping him the six or seven dollars for shipping just because he went out of his way for me. He had it all in a lot and he split up the lot for me, which was super nice. Uh, but... He sent us a loose disc copy of Conker's Live and Reloaded for the original Xbox. Now, he did text me the other day and say that there was another game in here, so... Okay, cool. Uh, the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. So, he threw in a nice little bonus game for us, so I appreciate that, buddy. And then, uh, here's the show right here. Conker's Live and Reloaded. Uh, very nice condition. A few light scratches, but no pitting or anything like that. But I thought it was really cool. Um, I actually have this game. My case is sort of worn out. So what I did was I went on eBay and somebody actually, it's weird. Sometimes I'll go on eBay and I'm like, I'm looking for a case and manual. And then like, there it is. And it's dirt cheap. So for $10, which I thought was a really good price, we got a very nice, clean Conker's Live and Reloaded artwork and manual for the original Xbox. We'll throw that in there. So now we have a nice complete copy of Conkers. This is gonna be a very long story. <laughs> so I'm gonna do with this. So I'm gonna take this disc that I got from uh, Marty. I actually got the manual in my other copy from SEL Saucington. And this cover art is a lot better. So I'm gonna swap it around to where I've got the cover art, disc from Marty and manual from SEL Saucington. And that'll be my complete copy. And then I'll just switch around all those parts and I'll have a double. So here we go, let's get into some rare PS4 games to finish off this episode. Like I said, I love the PS4. We're starting to get to that point where games are becoming super rare or super limited, that type of stuff. This is a game that I've wanted for a very, very long time. You know, when it comes to these strictly limited, limited rare, limited run type games, it is hard to find open copies because everybody buys them and keeps them sealed and then, you know, resales them, which you can't blame them for doing that, but I, I just wish there were a couple more open copies because I actually want to play these games and seeing the way that these prices are starting to rise. Uh, yeah, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can open this, you know what I mean? So, uh, this is a game I've had my eye on for a long time. Like I said, it's a shooter for the PlayStation 4 from Strictly Limited Games. It's limited to 1,800 copies. There's only 1,800 copies of this. It is Gundamoniums, which is a kind of cutesy, cute em up bullet hell type shooter. Now, the eBay seller had this for $55 or best offer. I tried to offer $35, but uh, I came back with, oh, they're not taking offers lower than $45. So I was like, okay, $45, right? And then they accepted the offer and uh, they sent it to me. But what was really cool is it wasn't listed in the advertisement, but it did come with the postcard. So that is a nice bonus um, and it really helps the resale price if you're going to resell your limited run or strictly limited games to have all the stickers and uh, postcards and stuff. So very excited to get that and add it to the collection. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is a very, very, very rare PlayStation 4 game. You watch any of those, uh, you know, top 10 rare PS4 games or any, any of those types of rare PS4 game videos. This game is generally going to be on everybody's list. It's not a limited run game. It's not a strictly limited game. It was actually a retail release in Spain only. And it sold very, very poorly. So if you can snag a copy, make sure that you do. I got my copy here for 35 or 36 bucks with shipping from Spain. So now is the time uh, to get on this game right here. And it is called Toro. It's an arcade simulator type bullfighting game. Did not sell well in Spain. Um, I, I don't know why it's like horse racing games over here don't sell well. I don't know why this wouldn't sell well 
in Spain, maybe because it's an arcade type, and if you're playing a bullfighting game, you want to play as your actual favorite bullfighter. You know, if you're playing a darts game or a golf game, you want to play as you know Phil Taylor or Tiger Woods or something like that. Maybe this just didn't have it. Maybe it just didn't have a release that uh, had a lot of quantity with it. They didn't make a lot of copies. But this will be a rare game on the PlayStation 4 in the future. American sellers are already starting to sell this game for about a hundred dollars. You can still steal them sometimes uh, from a seller in Spain for 30 to 50. I'm very, very fortunate, like I said, to have my my copy for uh, 35 or 36 bucks. Basically, what we did was we sold that uh, Beach Body Insanity that I got for three dollars. We sold that for 32 dollars or something, and we bought this, so we got that for like three bucks. If that's how you want to justify it in your head. But uh, we will get those into retro protection. Very excited. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Let me know what some of your favorite PlayStation 4 games are down below. Thank you very much to Marty for hooking me up with a copy of Conker's Live and Reloaded. And I will be doing a review on the Bull and Bingo's Moon Circus PlayStation 4 retro protection. So stay tuned for that video. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one.